Hey guys, it's BookQuester here, and uh, just in case you haven't already noticed, I'm filming in a different place than I usually do. Instead of being in front of my nice, disorganized bookshelves, I am actually in my living room, and that is because this video is about change. I don't exactly plan on filming here at any point in time ever for my other videos. It's just sort of like, it's a nice different background, a different feel. Also, my room is a complete and absolute mess. If you haven't noticed, I have not actually been around a whole lot recently, and that is because my life has been incredibly hectic with a variety of different things that I don't really feel comfortable talking about online because it doesn't really involve you guys and I don't want anyone else to be as stressed over my life as I am. And this isn't a story time YouTube channel. This is a reading channel to help encourage people to read, so I don't really want people to listen to my stories as much as I want them reading other people's. Now, the changes I've mentioned mainly concern the content of my channel. Basically, I don't plan on doing any more hauls, wrap-ups, or reviews, because when I first started this channel, my goals were to make new friends and find other people to discuss books with, and I don't feel like those videos have actually been helping me do that. They've just sort of put me kind of in a panicky state where I feel like I have to finish my next book so I can get my next review, and I have to go back through all the books I've already reviewed and do a wrap-up, and then every time I buy new books, I have to make a haul, and it just got really, really stressful, and I was so focused on doing those videos, I kind of stopped enjoying reading. Like I would be in the middle of a book and I would be so focused on what I was going to say in the review I wasn't really paying attention to the story and letting myself get sucked into that. I was more focused on the video and when I made this channel my intentions were not to get a lot of views or get a lot of uh, videos out and it just sort of became about pumping out as many videos as possible and I kind of didn't like what the channel became. Basically, I, all I really wanted to do was to help people find new books and new genres to enjoy and find some for myself, and I don't feel like the videos I was making were really doing that. And somewhere along the line, it just sort of became about pumping out as many videos as possible rather than, like, quality. It became about quantity, and I, um, I'm not really proud of that, so I'm going to leave up the videos that I did, but I am going to be trying to take the channel in a different direction now. I'm not saying I'll completely, absolutely stop doing like reviews, wrap-ups, and hauls, but now if I do one, it will only be if I'm like really inspired and if I feel like it's worth sitting down and filming a 20 minute video and then having to edit it for like 30 minutes because that's about how long it took me because I hated it so much. I would be watching other videos and focusing on that rather than editing. So I, uh, unless it feels like something that's worth an hour of my time, I'm probably not going to be doing any of those three things anymore. So I'm sorry if you watched any of my content for those three things, but I'm doubtful that I will have those anymore. Instead, I'm wanting to focus more on interacting with other people on the internet rather than getting followers. I want to focus on making friends and just sort of uh, connecting more with people, which is the reason I started this channel. And I want to focus more on doing what I enjoy rather than what's popular. All right. so firstly, one of the changes is, if you can't already tell, I have gotten a new camera to film things with, and secondly, I'm going to have to be using a different editor than I was using because my computer is being a jerk, and the Wi-Fi doesn't work on it anymore, and it's kind of a pain to drag it all the way downstairs, because I live in the attic, and plug it into the um, cord for the internet and download things that take hours to put online and have like the rest of my family out of internet just because I want to put on a video. So I have downloaded a editor to my tablet and so far when I have been messing with it and uh, trying to figure out how it works it seems like it'll do the job but um, some of the ways that I have filmed things might change just because of uh, the limitations of an editor that is on a tablet rather than on a computer. And the other change, as I have mentioned, will be the content of my videos. I do plan on continuing to do the page 69s because I really enjoy those and I genuinely feel like they could become something and they could help people find new stories or kind of get a taste of a story without giving too much away. So rather than filming a five minute review to encourage somebody to read something, I will continue to film like a minute and a half segments of the page 69 of books so people can kind of get a taste of the writer's voice and see if they enjoy that because anyone can get online and you can read the back of the book in any uh, store or on Goodreads you can read the back of the book on Amazon but not a lot of places kind of have like a sample that's a little bit into the book because a lot of places have the first chapter but I feel like the book doesn't really kick off and the writer doesn't really find their voice until a little farther on so I have been reading the page 69s and I have several of those videos up I will link the playlist below if you want to check those out but I actually enjoy making those, so I will try to continue to do that, but I'm not sure how well that'll work out on my new, 
but I am not sure how well that will work out on my new editor, so we will see. Another video I was kind of considering making is a kind of like a read with me thing where I will be reading aloud, but I will be present and I will film myself just sort of silently reading in a variety of places, maybe like a 30 minute length video to kind of give people a reading partner. And it'll be sort of like an ASMR because I want it to be kind of quiet, maybe with like soft music or something. Just sort of give people a place in their headphones or wherever where they can just sort of relax and then focus on reading their own book and kind of feel like they have company or a friend or someone that they're reading with. So I want to try that and I haven't filmed any of that yet, but I am planning on trying that very soon. I just have to get all my crap together and edit this video and figure out where the first spot I want to film myself reading will be. Another thing that I'm actually wanting to try is actual book questing, which is the namesake for my channel. When I originally made the channel, I kind of envisioned myself being able to put out on the internet, hey, so-and-so is looking for this kind of book, like, uh, currently I'm looking for books about pirates, because I like pirates. So I was thinking of uh, somebody could say, hey, I'm looking for a book about sea monsters or something, and then I could put out, hey, so and so's looking for a book about sea monsters, and other people could reply and link links, and we could just have like a whole running list of uh, different books that people try that are about that thing, because you can get online and you can search books about this, but I don't feel like it is as detailed or as uh, effective a system as it is to have other people who have actually read the book and enjoyed the book to say that this is about this and I enjoyed it and you might like it blah blah blah. I feel like actual interaction between other people just sort of works better so I'm wanting to actually try book questing and I might try to turn it into a hashtag on Twitter, not sure yet, and just sort of seek out other people who are looking for books and just sort of try to make a little community where everyone can work together to find the story that they are looking for. But I'm going to need everybody's help with that one. I don't want that to just be about me finding books for other people. Like, I'm totally willing to get on and say things that I have read, but I have not read everything, and there are so many books out there. So I'd like other people to be involved too, and like retweet it, or just like comment themselves to say that they read this book, and this book was good, and blah blah blah. So I'm basically, I just really want interaction, because I feel like most of the time people post a lot of stuff, but they don't reply to anything, or they don't comment on anyone else's stuff, and they don't actually read anybody else's stuff. So I'm trying to make my accounts more about reading other people's things and commenting on that and interacting with them, rather than just trying to post stuff and get people's attention. Because I feel like that's sort of what it's become, is just people don't actually pay attention to each other anymore. They're just so focused on what they want to say next, what they want to do, and how much attention they're trying to get. That instead of being a community of people, like a group of friends where everybody takes turns talking, they want to be like the main star or whatever and stand up on the stage and be the one doing all the talking. And I kind of got caught up in that, but I don't want to do that. I really want to focus on like community and friends and people and I've made a few friends on here and I'm going to have to get reconnected with because I've taken such a long hiatus but I'm really hoping that they're still online and still active. Another thing that I will try to continue doing is my um, Reader 365 that I was doing or readings 3 I'll put the name down here. It, I made a second Twitter account and this one is where every night I was trying to do like an hour of reading to sprints to encourage people to read but I kind of fell off the bandwagon with that when I lost my computer because it was a lot easier to type it up on my computer than it was to type it up on my iPod and have like accurate timing but I'm going to try to keep up with that on my iPod now because I don't have a phone well, I have a phone, but it doesn't do internet because, um, well, I basically get annoyed at my friends for having their phones out all the time when we're out, so to combat that, I just refuse to get a phone that can do internet, and all it can do is text and call, and it's on minutes to keep me from texting and calling all the time, and it's really hard to text on, so I, uh, basically, when I'm out with people, I have to be out with people, and I can't be focused on my phone, so that's another reason it's kind of hard for me to keep up with the Reading 365 thing. But I might try to get some more of my friends involved with that and have them help me do that and maybe have some of them take turns on the account just so that I can have that going because I want people to at least do a little bit of reading every day. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. And uh, lastly, one of the things that I'm wanting to do rather than doing a video review on things because it took forever to film it and then a long time to edit and then it's like five minutes of me talking about a book and a lot of it's just like repeating the same things, I'm wanting to try to maybe do Twitter reviews on books so I have to condense everything I think about the book into uh, however many characters that they allow you. That way I have to really say what I think about the book instead of just like dancing around and trying to find words and blah blah blah. I have to like really 
like think it through and type it out and just like make sure that it's exactly what I want it to be. I feel like it might be more of a quality review that way, but I'm sorry about that. My uh, brother just got home and I had to stop filming. Mainly the point of this is I'm wanting my channel to encourage people to put down their phones, turn off their laptops, tablets, their TVs, and actually be proactive and read rather than just binge watch me talking about reading for like 30 minutes. I want people to actually be like, oh that's good, that was a one minute video and I just wasted a minute of my time watching this girl talk, but now I want to go actually read a book rather than them just watch me doing reviews and talk about books and be like, oh I'd like to read that book and then clicking the next video and never actually reading it. because I'm guilty of doing that because it is so easy to get sucked down the YouTube tunnel and I don't want to be one of those people dragging others down the rabbit hole. I want to kind of be like the stop sign to encourage people to uh, stop getting sucked into it and uh, actually doing some reading. Alright, anyway I think that's all we have to talk about. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, be looking forward to the new stuff I want to and start reading. Thanks for watching. Bye! Catherine pried open one eye. You can't mean it. Mean what? Shoving away the blankets, Catherine flopped off the mattress. Have you met the king? she asked, adjusting her nightgown.